Hello everyone, welcome to Thrifty Thursday this week. This week we have a special guest which I'm really excited about. I'm going to tell you a little bit about our special guest and then we'll get right into learning about costume design and drawing a person. Our guest this week is Richard St. Clair. He is the head of the costume department at Penn State University where I'm a student. I've taken a couple of his classes and they're wonderful. Richard has been professionally designing for over 30 years and he has also served as the resident costume designer for 26 years at the Opera Company of Philadelphia. He's also designed for the Seattle Opera, Glimmerglass Opera, the Philadelphia Theater Company, Curtis Music Institute, and the Arden Theater Company. He has also won two Barrymore Awards for Outstanding Costume Design. Uh, Rich Richard has also worked as a milliner on the major motion picture Beloved and as an assistant designer on Unbreakable, The Happening, The Mighty Max, and Paranoia. So he has a wide range of experience and we are so excited to have him here today to teach you how to draw a person for your costume designs. Richard? So, hello, I'm Richard St. Clair. I, uh, I'm a costume design professor at Penn State University. And actually, Rowan was one of my students a couple years ago. And we're going to work on learning how to draw an eight tall head figure. So I'm gonna line myself up here with my paper. So you'll be working on a smaller piece of paper than I will work on, but I'm gonna work big so that you can see everything I'm doing. So, first of all, I'm going to decide to center my figure on the paper. So, I'm going to make the top of my head be here, and I'm going to make the bottom of my feet be here. So, math is not my specialty, being a theater person. So, I'm going to show you a math-free way of making an eight-head tall person. So I'm gonna cut a strip off my paper. So I have a strip of paper and I'm going to make it be exactly the length. So this is going to be the height of my person. So without using math, I'm gonna fold my paper in half. Now I have two heads. I'm gonna fold it again into quarters. Now I have four heads. And if I fold it again, I folded my paper magically into eight sections. Everybody following along so far? So now I'm gonna take my paper and I'm gonna mark each of my folds on my page. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now if you look on our paper, we have eight little marks. And you'll probably want to do this in pencil so you can erase this later. And so what does this all mean when we get down to this? So this is the top of the head, right? So this first mark is the chin. This next mark is the chest. This next mark is the waist. This next mark is the bottom of the pelvis. This next mark is the thigh. This next mark is your knee. This next mark is your calf. And the next mark is the floor. So that's my eight, my eight heads marked out on the page. So I've made a worksheet here. So here's my worksheet. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start drawing in red and then go back in. I'm gonna draw the figure in red and then I'll draw clothes on the figure in black so that you can see what we're doing. So we're gonna start with a nice oval shape here for the person's head. And on the side, you might even want to do a little practice till you like have a beautiful oval shape down. 
Because like, you don't want to do a shape that's like bigger at the bottom because that doesn't look like a head. You want, actually, you almost want to draw like a perfect egg shape to make this head. This one's the best one so far. So here's my beautiful oval shape. So now I'm going to draw down a little bit into the next block and I'm going to draw my shoulders, right? So here's my shoulder line. And so here's my waist. So now I'm going to draw a nice keystone shape. So again, you can practice some keystones here on the side if you want, just to get that shape of shoulders going down into a waist. Okay, so all of a sudden, now all, already you can see that here's a person starting to take form. So next is my pelvis block. So this is like where the person's hips are. So I'm going to draw a nice little square here where my hips are, right? So now it's starting to feel more like a, a human torso. I'm going to draw a circle here and a circle there, because if you feel your shoulders, that your, your shoulder kind of operates out of a circle. Rowan, do you remember this? I do remember. I'm following along. <laughs> Yay. OK. So now I'm going to draw two more circles here, because those are going to be my knees. So your legs are exactly the width of your torso. So now I'm going to draw down from my torso to create my legs. And now I'm going to draw two triangles here on the floor because they're going to become my feet. This person's kind of standing like Mary Poppins with their feet to the side. So now I can draw down from here, make a nice curve for my calf, draw down from here, make a nice curve for my calf. Now I'm going to draw my arms coming off of here. We're going to keep this fairly simple. So I'm going to draw down to my pelvis line for my arms. And now I'm going to draw my hands coming off of there, right? So, oh, and then I can take my neck and draw it into my shoulders. So suddenly we've got a whole person drawn out here that, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight heads tall. So here's our eight head figure. So now I'm gonna switch to black. So we're gonna put some clothes on this person. So let's put this person in a nice polo shirt. So I'm gonna draw my collar. Some buttons down the front here. Here's my shoulder seam, right? So now I'm going to draw a short sleeve on them. It has ribbing on the bottom. Here we go. And of course, you're going to make up your own outfits for this person. So here's my shirt tucking into my pants. So let's draw a belt here. So here I'm going to draw a little fly, and here are my jeans pockets coming off of here. So now I'm going to draw my pants outside of my leg lines. So if you draw the figure first in pencil, then you can go on top of this and you can erase the other lines. So. Next time we'll do faces. So let's draw some hair in. A little box for ears on the side here. I can refine my shapes as I go around. But you you can you can put this person in a long dress if you don't want to draw the legs. You can put them in a short skirt and just have the legs showing down below. Let's put them in a nice simple sneaker.
Oh, these are chucks. Here we go. And there you have our basic eight head tall figure in about five minutes.